Hello, welcome into Mama Marie's Kitchen in sunny Alabama. We've had some of the prettiest weather this week. We're still enjoying it today, but we're inside cooking. We are going to cook some fish today, just like we cook at the restaurant. We have, everybody calls it Fish Friday. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we have fish every Friday and we're gonna make some hush puppies too. So to start with, I use catfish. Now this is lake catfish. It's not a pond catfish. It's not any of these catfish from foreign countries or anything else. I buy it out of Mississippi, Alabama, so it's locally grown here in the South. All right, I've got my skillet on. Now, we put a link on our Facebook page the other day about the electric skillet. I found one that looks a lot like it on the book and it says that it's all tracks. So, and a lot of you've talked about buying it now, it's kind of expensive. But if you want a good skillet that will stay with you forever, you've got to invest in one. And I don't remember what this one cost 30 or 40 years ago, whenever we bought it, but uh, it's well worth your money. Well worth your money. Okay, so let's start with our catfish. I've got some, like I said, I've got some pun raised fish. I got some white lily meal. And y'all, you're gonna think, whoa, is that all you put in? That's all I put in. <laughs> we, take, we take the fish, my grease is hot. I've got it set on 350. We're going to take the fish. Now I actually buy, what do you call it, Delane? Mm, I can't think of it right off. Pine raised catfish? Well, it's pine raised, but it's uh, irregular cuts. Because we make ours, we, we the advertise them as fish nuggets, but we take them uh, irregular uh, catfish and cut it. I don't like the nuggets, it's all that under portion and all, so we don't use that. Okay, I'm gonna check my meal right quick, Delane, and see. I think it's hot enough. I got it on 350. We may just put one in and see. So I put meal in it. Now you can add salt to your meal if you like. We don't. And sometimes the fish is not salty enough, but you can always add salt. But we have to be conscious at the restaurant that a lot of people can't have a lot of salt. So we try to balance it out, okay? So we're gonna put that in there. And I don't believe it's quite hot enough. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. What have you got it turned up to, Mom? I had it on 325 and I put it on 350, but I think I'm gonna turn it on 375 before I cook anymore. Because you want it to cook, you want it to start off good. So when you, you're just dipping just the regular fish? I'm just taking the fish, and that has been washed. People kid me about washing stuff. But I, somebody texted me one time and asked, well, do you, how do you wash hamburger meat? I said, well, to begin with, you can't wash hamburger meat. <laughs> <laughs> so we just batter it, put it in our grease. And I don't know how many pieces I've got here. Um... Uh, Kind of shake the excess off. Drop it in. Y'all, I went shopping this morning. First time I've been shopping for clothes in a while. To begin with, the clothes are not for old people. <laughs> <laughs> and the shopping is not near as much fun as it used to be. I'm a lot older. <laughs> so it's not near as much fun as it used to be. We got it sizzling real good now. Now this is a pretty thick piece, so it'll take a little more time to cook. But that's it. That's the way we cook it. Only we do deep fry it at the restaurant, which I don't have a deep fry here at home. I always said when I quit working at the restaurant, I'm just going to Buy me a big fat cooker for the house, <laughs> but I probably won't. But we got that going, and right now I've got it on 375. So we're going to just let it cook like that, and we're going to do something else while we're cooking it. The lamb can look over here every once in a while. I'm sure you can hear it sizzling. Now, why don't you cover it completely with grease? Is there a reason? Well, I would like to, but I was short on grease this morning. Oh. Well, I would have brought you some if you'd have told me. But I think this will be enough, but I was short on grease. Daddy heard me say, I hope I have enough grease, uh, Crisco. He said, well, I'll go get you some. I said, no, I'll make good with this. <laughs> All right, while my fish is cooking, to save a little time, we're going to make up some hush puppies. Now, I use a five-pound bag of white lily meal at the restaurant to make our hush puppies. But here, I've got one cup 
of white bimmy meal, one cup. All right. White lily cornmeal. Yes, just regular cornmeal. And I, I don't like the butter milk as well as I like just the plain, plain cornmeal. All right, I've got a real helping of a half a cup of onions. <laughs> and I've chopped them fine. We're going to put, put them in there, okay? And on top of that, I've got one onion. I mean, one one onion, egg. One egg <laughs> that we're going to put in there. Now, we also put some sugar. And I, I just pulled me some out because I really don't know. This is a half a tea, half a tablespoon. So I'm just going to put it in there and see what it looks like. I like sugar in mine. Well, so I some, know. if you do, you can add more. Well, I'm going to put a tablespoon. One tablespoon of sugar. Okay, the same thing with flour. And I use white lily flour. Y'all know that. So I think I put two tablespoons. I mean, one tablespoon. That's a total of one tablespoon. Okay? Now, I've got everything in it. So I'm going to mix it up right now. Just mix that up now. Also, know that you can put peppers, corn, just about anything you want in it. But this is all we put in it at the restaurant. Okay? I'm going to check with the fish. It, it looks like it's um, doing real good right now. Let me see. Oh, it's, it's browning real good. I'm going to let it brown a little bit more before it, before I turn it, okay? All right. So I've got all that. Everybody got, it, got what I've got in there. I've got buttermilk. I don't put much buttermilk. Well, I'm glad the lid is on that. Ooh. I'm wearing buttermilk. <laughs> I probably need to measure it. Measure it. This is just a half a teaspoon. I could have went back. Okay, that's two tablespoons. I'm going to see how that works out. And I, I think I'm going to have to put a little bit more. I could walk back over there and get a cup. It's still too dry. So we're going to put about... I was, at, I was at the restaurant yesterday and I took some of them hush puppies and I mixed them with sweet milk like you do cornbread and milk and if you hadn't tried it, you need to. It is amazing good. Good with buttermilk too. <laughs> okay, it's still just too dry. I hate to keep measuring in that little bitty spoon. Maybe they can just That was about probably it. about another tablespoon. Okay, I think I'm fixing to have to turn my fish. You don't want them real runny, but I still think that's just a dab dry. What we do at the restaurant, we make up such a large batch, we put the meal and everything together uh, and let it set a while and it brings the juices out of the onions and all. You want it kind of like a Play-Doh consistency? Yeah, maybe like that. We'll just have to see when we cook them. All right, look at the fish. See how pretty it's getting? We're gonna have to do something else. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Oh, yes. It doesn't take it long to cook now. I got that two large pieces to probably take longer to cook. Okay. Seems like it's Okay. Alright, so I've got my hush puppies ready to cook. I'm not going to, I'm going to cook them after we get through the fish. I'm afraid I might let the fish get too, too much. But I'm going to go ahead and turn up my uh, heat on my, where I'm going to cook my hush puppies. So uh, we'll be back in a few minutes, okay? Hey, welcome back. we got some good looking catfish over here just about ready to take up. And that's what I'm going to do. Now my big piece is not quite ready yet. Let it drain a little bit, just put it on the drain. And I don't know how long we cook this down. It's really according to the size of your fish. Uh, these smaller pieces don't take that long to cook. Well, you got it on 375. It was probably about 10 minutes, maybe. 10 maybe. Minutes. Not even, I don't know. I can't go by half the time. 
Time just flies. That's all I know. So that one's not ready yet. Now, how could you tell that one? Well, ready? it just wasn't. Uh, I just didn't like that. The way it was looking there, the way it was bubbling. Uh huh. It means it still got some fluid in it. See when I turn it back over? Okay. When you mash it, okay. it's just coming out. Okay. Oh, that's going to be so good. Okay. And while that's doing this, I'm going to cut it down just a little bit and finish cooking the large piece. So come on over here to the stove. I've got my pan ready. And uh, I kept my flour out just in case they want to act ugly. I figured since, since I'm making a video, they'll probably act ugly. <laughs> Just do up a little bit like that. Put it in your pan. I may have my water, my pan too hot. I may need to move it. Oh, they looking pretty too. Look there. Oh yes, they are, Mama. They're browning a little too fast. Now that's right, something. The size depends on what how you big want. you want them. Okay. Yeah, you can make them. Roll them out in your hand. I just we just always drop them with a spoon. But they would roll out. Now you notice I've removed the. From the pan from the heat because they're browning too fast. They'll be brown on the outside, but they'll be raw on the inside. But it should start slowing down here in a few minutes. Well, I'm trying to get it all. I hope they're not cooking too fast. I want to have my grease hot so that we wouldn't waste a lot of time. I'm trying to let you watch how she's doing it. And you just drop them, let them just fall off in there. They'll go to the bottom. Uh oh. And then they'll just come right back up to the top. And you can tell when they're ready by the floating, right? Well, they'll come automatically come back up. Oh, uh, but. Okay. You just cook them till you know they're done on the inside. Let me get, you stay right there, Delane, and I'll be right back. You don't have to turn them or anything? They usually turn themselves. But if they do, look, you just touch it. And when they, they're ready to turn, they usually turn themselves. See, that one just turned. Mm -hmm. That one, they'll usually turn themselves. But sometimes okay. you have to. And some of these early ones, I don't want them to get too brown. So we'll just have to check them and see if they're done, okay? All right, it's slowing down. I'm going to put it back on my eye. There's one. Now, how you said you're going to check to I'm see how... I'm going to check them that I put in that brown too fast. Yes, ma'am. Just to make sure that they're done because it's possible that they're not. Okay. Go ahead and just drop a few more. All right. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to keep up with her. I don't mean no, to make y'all dizzy. I'm <clears> moving <throat> too fast. Now, we're going to... I'm going to bake us a potato to eat with this. Now, I'm not going to show y'all that, but... Get you two good baking potatoes, or a baking potato. We're going to have two. <laughs> and uh, I cook them in the microwave, wash them good, and just put a uh, hole all the way through them with a sharp knife so they won't blow up in the in the microwave in probably six, eight, ten minutes. Uh, it's according to what wattage your microwave is. I'm going to let them cook just a little more. See, now that's the way they should be. When you put them in... So they don't get so brown so quick. So fast. Because mm -hmm. they'll do that. And let me see about these. They're probably too hot to handle. They are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just let them turn. Well, I turn that one over. I'll do this one. They sure are good. Crunched up in some sweet milk, too. And buttermilk. <laughs> and buttermilk, Mama and Dad. We like butter. We like them in buttermilk. <laughs> <laughs> they tried to get me to do buttermilk yesterday, but I just couldn't do it. Okay, we're looking good. I'm not going to cook any more. I got a, two or three left, but I don't Go need. ahead and put them in there. I might want one. <laughs> oh, you might want one in some milk. Yes. <laughs> and you can make them smaller if you want to. They don't have to be this big. Okay. That's that. Now it's gone thought about doing some onion rings too, but I kind of backed out on that. We make homemade onion rings at the restaurant, and they are so good. We don't much do them much anymore because we don't do short orders. 
we stopped that because we wouldn't have a short order maybe if we had two or three a month because everybody eats the bar. Uh, so we don't really do short orders anymore. Can't hold a short order cook around long enough to just do two or three a month. Okay. If you're interested, though, in seeing her do the onion rings, I'm sure she'll be glad I, to do I'm going to do some onion rings. Oh, they're so good. All right, Delane, you can stay right there. I'm going to go get that other piece of fish out. Okay. They don't take long. Okay. I'm going to turn my stove back up just a little bit. Now, what have you got it on? I had it on medium, I mean on about halfway between high and medium high, mm -hmm. and I'd had it on a little while to make sure it was hot when we got ready. Oh. All right. These are looking good. All right, let me see if I can break one of these in, in two. Oh yeah, it was done, see? It's still hot, but no, it really wasn't done. Right in the middle. So make sure your grease is not too hot. Those first three I put in are not quite done. So we're going to lay them aside, okay? That's what happens if, you, if you're frying stuff and you put it in the grease and it's too hot. It'll cook the outside real fast and you'll think it's done, but it's really not done on the inside. Okay? Do you want us to... All right, we're going to finish taking these up, and uh, we'll be right back. It's not going to take us but just a minute, and we're going to try a bite of our fish, and hopefully the hush puppies will be ready to eat. And I'm going to stick our potatoes in the microwave, and we're going to do some serious southern eating here in a few minutes. <laughs> See you then. Hey, y'all, welcome back. Here's our fish and hush puppies, our potatoes that's going to go in the oven. I want you to just look at the inside. See how crispy it is? It's just as crispy as it can be. And you break it up. Oh, goodness, that's going to be so good. I wish I could eat it. Let me see. Y'all are killing me making me eat this hot food. <laughs> Mom, if it's too hot, don't burn your mouth. Mmm. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's look at another one of our... Hush puppies, it's too hot to hold. Now these are done. They are done. They're really, really good. But I'm not going to eat one of them. I'm going to save and eat that with my fish and my hush puppy. <laughs> Thank y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you'll fry you up some good fish and enjoy it. And uh, Delane's in a, wanting to leave. She's got some plans this afternoon. So we're going to say goodbye. And may God bless you in every aspect of your life.